So an individual by the name of Gavin McKines did a video called Hashtag Gamergate. Adults shouldn't be playing video games anyways. This video has been met with severe criticism along with several people taking it apart. There are three ways of viewing this video. One, it is a massive troll and nothing more. Two, it is view bait just like the Jimmy Kimmel and many others have done in the past. Or three, it can't be taken seriously. Now regardless of how you look at it, many of the things this guy says can be talked about and responded to because other people do believe the things that he has said here. I personally have heard some of the things said in this video from real people in real life, not just on the internet. So as far as I'm concerned, that would be the only reason I am responding here to this. It's a good lead in to many of the stereotypes that still exist today. So let's jump into it. The video opens with Gavin's face plastered on the screen, staring lifelessly at the camera, but moving in that weird edgy MTV way where it just takes the still image and moves it around. There is a warning about some idiotic rating system called RE and says the video is rated rebellious. And man, as a person who heads a rebellion against stereotypes myself, I understand you need to be careful throwing around the rebellion term. It also states that it includes satire and mature content. Now satire is a bit tricky. You can't just go up to someone and call them a name and then claim satire. You can't just make fun of a group of people and then call it satire and have everyone believe that it's truly satire. So the satire line is just there to save face, if I had to guess, as they probably saw what happened in Nicole Arbor's Dear Fat People video. As for the mature content, no, there's not really any of that here. Everything could be essentially said and displayed to teens that were lower if a parent was there, and if they even cared, which they probably wouldn't, but I don't speak for them, so I don't know for sure. I'm just assuming that they probably wouldn't want to listen to this guy. Oh, and I'd like to make a point that this guy has a different pair of glasses on other than in his video. Why I make this point is because it shows that this guy not only has a prescription pair of glasses, but multiple prescriptions of stylish glasses, unless they're fake and he just wears them to be trendy. Maybe his intro was done differently, but it's off-putting. And this will come into play at the end of the video, just remember the glasses thing I mentioned. So he starts the video by calling Nero, also known as Milo, his buddy. And for his sake, I really hope they are buddies, because if this guy called me his buddy, I would tell him to never say my name again. He continues on summarizing what happened with some bomb threats. Now it's interesting because he goes on to summarize normal adults not knowing about Gamergate, but then refers to Nero as his buddy, who was talking with the factual feminist about that subject matter. So I guess he wouldn't consider Nero a normal adult? However, that calls into question what is normal. Oh, but don't you worry, he will clarify what normal is later on. That also brings up the point of, who do you think you are to judge anyone, Gavin? Alpha Omega Sin compared you to a Pidgeotto with your haircut there. I think you personally look like Jameson from the Spider-Man comics. Give that guy a cigar and he'll be a real character. This also will come into play later on with the whole comic reference I made, but the point is, who the hell does this guy think he is to judge what normal is? Then he goes on to say and summarize Gamergate, but Gamergate is not about feminism or political correctness. It is about ethics and game journalism and has evolved to discuss things that SJWs and feminists try to shove into gaming like female representations of completely fake characters that don't exist, like Link and Linkle, for example. They aren't real people, but they still feel the need to get the female representation perfect to a T to the way they want. Gamers is not a movement either, and gamers are not guys who play video games, it's people, women, men, transsexuals even. And I don't think people who play games came up with that name either, gamer. I can't stand it myself. I think it's derived from people needing to address people who play games quickly and easily, calling them gamers. And isn't it strange that those who want to talk about Gamergate always get the bomb threats? I can't agree more with him on about the angry SJWs being against free speech and calling in bomb threats. The guy is right about that point. But then he goes on to say, though there is a layer of patheticness though he goes on to say that he doesn't care about PC and all that but that video games are for little kids I guess big kids can't play video games I better go tell Jimmy to lose some weight so he can be a little kid and play video games huh? Eh? Eh? anyone no 
Okay, back to the video. Why are adults playing video games, he asks. Because the same reason people watch a TV show, watch a movie, read a book, go to plays, and listen to music. Because of entertainment, because of the missing need to succeed and overcome, because puzzle solving, because fun, because social interaction, because people sometimes want their ideas challenged in a way that makes them rethink their norms, because they can do things in video games they never would because video games can be anything you want. He then goes on to talk about his brother-in-law getting his kids a Batman game and they can't play it because it's adults only. Now, excuse me, two things. Number one, if you truly felt this way about video games, then why did you buy them for your kids? You might say this goes with his argument, but it contradicts it later. He should be teaching his children how to woodwork, make stuff, repair things, and not play video games. You will see where I'm going with this in a few. Just remember that. Continuing on, he talks about how he was a little kid and enjoyed those mediums, but then acts like a random person stating that he is Batman and Superman. He can fly, look at him, he's got a Wolverine shirt on. It's some real cringe right here, I promise you. If you're gonna watch this video, you need to watch this part alone. Oh my lord, it's cringy. But he says people who do that are special, and I, I, I don't know, man. If you're going around in public saying that you're Wolverine and slashing at people, I guess you would be special, but yeah. My question is, why do you care? what they do. In the very least, if they don't break the law, what does it matter? If they hold a 9 to 5 and pay their taxes, then why do you give a shit what a person does, wears, or collects? What's it matter to you personally? How does it affect you? It doesn't. You're full of shit. The statement alone makes me wonder how old the guy is. He goes on to say in the old days, you lived in the basement because you were mentally handicapped. And this statement alone makes me wonder how old this guy is, because social services would not allow that to ever happen these days and there are government programs and homes for the mentally handicapped so is he referring to like the 1930s or 40s here i mean i don't think he's that old but jesus christ man he refers to 12 year olds playing star wars with nine year olds then says poor bastard i guess he'll be living in it with his mommy forever excuse me but what else did you want a 12 year old to do apparently it's cool to be a 12 year old playing with star wars figures now as an adult, as a 12 year old, I don't know, he's not very specific here. I think I get what he's saying, that back in the day, it used to be lame to enjoy these mediums so much, but now it's cool. And once again, I bring into question, who are you to judge Gavin? Who gave you the authority over what is cool and what is not? And even then, that is subjective as well. He then leaps over to kids wearing headsets, talking shit on a mic, and says, I wanna shoot you with my nerd drawing gun. What the fuck is a nerd drawing gun? I have Never heard that term in my life. I promise you, someone please explain it to me in the comments. Then he does a cutaway of someone playing GTA 5 talking shit in an open lobby. So, one major thing here. The video he shows is of someone else's video, pretty sure, which is really unprofessional to not even remove the watermark or just use one that doesn't have a watermark. I mean, you could obviously set this up between yourself and someone else and record it in a more personal fashion because you already know that it exists out there and you can reference the video without stealing someone else's work. It's not illegal to use for parroting, it's just really unprofessional. So he goes on to assume that, once again, only people who do this are adult males and dads then go on to explain how these people are supposed to know stuff, like fixing a fridge or making a table. Okay, so I have no idea how my knowledge of building a table will help me in life, honestly. I took shop class in high school and I can build shelves and tables, but where I live, I lack the tools to do so. So, you know, it takes a lot to build a table, right, Gavin? Like, you need a belt sander, a grinder, you need something to do the edges of the table, you need saws, usually specific ones for specialized cuts, then screws, screwdrivers, nails, and hammers, varnish, and of course, you need the wood and spacing to do this. If you live in a one-room bedroomed house, apartment, or anything that doesn't give you a side garage or place to do this in, you don't have the room to do it. There's no no way to even do what you are saying here. I understand that he's trying to say that men should be men and not just slobs who know nothing but video games, but this generalization is so stupid and wrong. For example, I've had to repair so many things, my chair, my own computer, my car, and all these things I learned while working on YouTube with my gaming channel. 
I've had to figure it out myself, and it's not a problem for me. I do it. He goes on to say that he doesn't read fiction either, and I'm starting to think that this guy has no idea what fiction actually is. He then says it should be discouraged to watch a show. Gavin, do you mean a show like this? Like the Rebel Media Show? The channel you're on? Gavin, no one says they are TV watchers or watch TVers because there is no skill to watch TV. I've talked about this in the past, but when people who have never played an FPS title before in their lives attempt to play an FPS for the first time, it's like walking for the first time. It's incredibly demanding to shoot and aim at the same time as walking, let alone jumping around while taking fire and making pinpoint precise shots. And that is just one example. Beating and overcoming a complex game filled with complex puzzles is a different challenge altogether, and as I said before, games can be anything. But it does take skill to do those things at a very basic level. But that is why no one calls themselves a watch tv -er. They call themselves a critic, Gavin. He says, put down the console, you grown man baby. Excuse me, I thought games were for kids, not babies, so which one is it? And on top of that, a console is what a game plays on, not what you pick up or put down, Gavin. Do your research before you speak, then try to put down other people's hobbies. So that is where this video ends. So what is the takeaway from this? Well, all these generalizations that women don't play games, that men should be men, and well, some of the things he says he can have good intentions for, but the road to hell is paved with good intentions. This guy seems not to be trolling, but instead to be really view baiting hard here, which he failed to do as the video only has 60,000 views. You might call that a win, but the channel has 50,000 subscribers on it already, so it's not impressive. Overall, I think it's sad that people do think like him. They assume that adults can't play games, let alone develop them. Like, who makes the games for the children, eh? Like, nine-year-olds work over at Sony, right? Or is Miyamoto a man-child? Is Kaizo Hiri a man-child? Is Kenji Infuni a man-child, too? Games can be whatever you want them to be. You can find the type of games you love, and you can enjoy them as much as you enjoy a movie or a show, maybe more with the ability to control the outcome. For individuals like Gavin, that that is impossible as they already are in another world. Remember what I said about his glasses, right? The way this guy acts, the condescending tones, the way he dresses, I would say this man has never ever needed to escape reality and relax with a game or any medium for that matter because he's probably never had to face anything challenging in his life. He's probably been handed everything. I can't say for certain as I've never lived his life, but when people act like this towards someone's fandom, it just shows a great amount of disconnect and no desire to learn anything or the need to learn it. But remember, ladies and gentlemen, games are for kids, right? Video games are for little kids. 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 And now, the important decision of joining the Maverick Rebellion. We are a tight group of individuals who rebel against stereotypes and greater evils that are commonly accepted. ISPs, children being conned out of games, sexism in video games, enough is enough, and the Mavericks have had it. If you choose to subscribe, or stay subscribed, you are joining the fight against injustice by watching my numerous video topics. From net neutrality to publishers covering up botched releases, the Mavericks are always always informed on the issues plaguing your gaming experience today. So don't be left out in the cold, and don't let those people keep you down. Join the Maverick Rebellion today and become a member of the community that will listen and engage with you. What are you waiting for? Just click subscribe and you'll be in good company. Mavericks unite!